good afternoon to the colleague, faculty, honored guests, friends, and family. I want to start off by saying welcome to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry White Coat Ceremony for the class of 2022. All of us here are so happy and excited you could be with us on this very important day. My name is Malad Kareem, and I'm honored to represent the fourth year dental uh, students today as their class president. I'd like to thank everyone for allowing me to be part of this very special day. To the class of 2022, welcome. We're all very excited you decided to join the dental family here in the school. I'd first like to congratulate you and recognize all the hard work that has taken you to be here. Each and every one of you has a unique story and a unique pathway that has led you to be sitting here today. Some of the things that might not be too unique to your stories are the long hours spent studying for the PAT and wondering how the SN2 mechanism would be applicable to dentistry. <laughs> Uh, or the many hours you spent shadowing dental offices with sometimes uh, your only view being the back of the dentist's head. <laughs> Jokes aside, those experiences are vital to your success in dental school because they reflect upon your character um, and the ambition that inspired you to be sitting here in these seats today. <laughs> That's the reason we're all gathered here today to celebrate your determination, accomplishments, and sacrifices. <laughs> And of course, to extend the warm, warmest of welcomes into the amazing profession of dentistry. Yes, you're all great, but don't be fooled into thinking that you didn't uh, have help getting here. As we look um, at those that are seated behind you today, your family, your friends, they've also made some big sacrifices for you to be here, and I guarantee you, you're going to need them at your side throughout the next four years. <laughs> This ceremony is not, just, is not just a celebration for students, but for all of you in the audience today. And being here, you've demonstrated your commitment to be available for continued emotional support and understanding. We'd like to extend a thank you in advance for, the, for that and for dealing with the crazy schedules and long phone calls uh, about dentistry that you may or may not come fully comprehend. The academic ritual that the White Coat Ceremony has become is a celebration of the transformation of status from student to a uh, health professional student. A ritual that's only two decades old. It has become an honored symbolic uh, way to affirm our compassion and uh, empathy for patients in a professional manner. In the absence of the symbolic nature, it becomes a immodest way to celebrate success. Being a professional means that you'll have competence, be trustworthy, be reliable, follow ethical principles, be accountable, and much, much more. I remember sitting in those seats where you are uh, now and remembering how anxious and excited I was to get started in the profession. Today, it's your turn as you'll all walk across this stage and don your white coats. Uh, in just that instance, your life will never be the same. You'll have officially started on your path to becoming not just a professional, but a dental professional. The next four years are going to fly by faster than you can imagine, but in time, you'll also have gained an astonishing amount of knowledge and memories that you'll forever cherish. The first two years, you're going to spend endless of hours studying PowerPoints, presentations for all of your 14 classes, but you'll also get a break from straining your brain cells to work out your, your fingers in, um, uh, in simulation lab practicing preparations, waxing teeth, and making provisional restorations. Last two years, you'll, you'll be spending much of your time in clinic, seeing patients, or playing phone tag, while trying to schedule them. That sounds uh, pretty fun, right? <laughs> trying to remember, um, trying to remember that life doesn't, try to remember that life doesn't get put on pause when you're in dental school. Unless um, your patient decides on staying at home on a snowy uh, morning and uh, that takes priority over your meticulously planned uh, dental appointments for that day. And you wonder, how could they do that to me? <laughs> to me? Uh, in all seriousness, your hard work doesn't always get unnoticed and your patients will appreciate your sincere effort 
to give them the best treatment that you're capable of. Some of them will hug you. Some of them will uh, finally be able to smile again. And some will even shed a happy tear because they've never been, they've never been treated so well before. These experiences make all the long hours of studying and practicing so worth it. You're going to make a positive impact on many, many lives and it's the most rewarding feeling in the world. This, chap this is a new chapter in your life. How you write it is entirely up to you. The plot will have some highs and some lows, but you're going to be writing this chapter with the people who are sitting around you today. After spending more hours, more hours with them than uh, by yourself, you'll become classmates, colleagues, friends, and ultimately a family. Some of you will travel uh, to cool places together. Some will get married, and some will have children. And uh, when the chapter of dental school ends, you're going to come out, uh, come out of it stronger, smarter, and probably uh, with many more white gifts. <laughs> to wrap up, I would once again like to thank you for allowing me to share uh, this big milestone with you on your special day. On behalf of the class of 2019, I wish you all the greatest of success during your dental school career and hope that you'll, you'll all find what you're looking for throughout this journey. Once again, welcome to the profession, to the dental family, and to the number one dental school. Forever and always, go blue! <laughs> now it's my pleasure to introduce Dean, Ma Dean Laurie McCauley to share a few words with me. Dean McCauley is the 14th Dean of the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and the first woman to hold the position. She is a native of Ohio and received all of her professional degrees from the Ohio State University. <laughs> but I hear she was from Michigan. I she was from Michigan. <laughs> um, she first received her DDS degree in 1985, followed by her, by her Master's of Science in Dentistry in 1988. She's also a PhD in Veterinary Biopathology in uh, 1991. Dean McCauley has spent a large portion of her uh, career at the University, University of Michigan. Previous to becoming Dean in 2013, she served as the Chair of Periodontics and Oral Medicine uh, Department for 10 years, uh, starting in 2002. Dean McCauley is uh, dedicated to students here, and she makes time in her busy schedule to engage with us and she understands our experiences going through the program. We are so fortunate to have such a supportive, involved, and student-centered being here at the School of Dentistry. And we're happy she could be, with us, be here with us today. Please welcome Dean McCauley. Plus learning. 
Our job is to do much more than teach you how to clean, restore, move, or remove tea. Even more important is our mission to prepare you to think creatively and critically, to find innovative solutions to a wide range of problems, problems that don't even exist today, problems that you will encounter 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years from now. Our mission is to position you to be out front in leading the profession of dentistry. We strive for you to leave the School of Dentistry equipped to successfully deal with roadblocks and detours that you'll encounter in your professional lives. It's a lofty goal, but one this School of Dentistry has embraced and excelled since its inception 143 years ago. Class of 22, you join a long line of students who have come through Ann Arbor, earned their Doctor of Dental Surgery degrees, and gone out into the world to make it a better place in the countless number of communities they've served. Over the next, not four, but now 3.75 years, <laughs> we will be with you every step of the way. A strong bond exists between this school and its students. You chose us, and we chose you. Class of 22, you benefit by attending a dental school that this year was highly rated by the two official organizations that monitor higher education and dentistry. One rated us as the number one dental school in the United States, and the other rated us as the number one dental school in the world. <laughs>
After graduation, Dr. Peters and her husband purchased a, a private practice where they both worked with alternating schedules to allow them to stay with their children and to volunteer at a, at a elementary school. Uh, while building the patient base, she also worked as an associate in a private practice. Not only did she find the time to do all of that, she also taught head and neck anatomy class and served as a clinical instructor at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. Dr. Peters has been a, a trusted member and a leader in the American Dental Association, Michigan Dental Association, and organized dentistry ever uh, since she graduated from dental school, and has won recognitions and awards for her leadership roles. Please join me in warmly welcoming Dr. Deborah Peters. Hello, Dental Class of 2022. What a fantastic way to enter into the field of dentistry by marking this occasion by receiving your white coat. And I'm truly grateful for being asked to give a few remarks today. For you see, the symbol of the white coat not only acknowledges your commitment to study hard, practice good communication, serve the people, the community. But it also means you'll now receive dentist ornaments, teeth socks, and smile headlines, and all your car pictures and coffee mugs. <laughs> but seriously, this is a time for great pride, especially for those loved ones in attendance, or as I learned this morning, viewing on Facebook Live. In fact, you're probably a little nervous for your dental student, too. By your presence, you're also pledging to hold up these students. This may be in action or words, in listening or advice, by encouragement or teaching, because this is the beginning of an incredible commitment of a journey that will bring so much along its path. So as president of the Michigan Dental Association, I welcome you all of you, into our noble profession. You have chosen wisely to study, and I view after a quarter century of practice, this remarkable field with great diversity in practice. It is part art and science. I encourage you to learn good communication skills and explore the areas of emotional intelligence. Dentistry has entrepreneurial opportunities, and opportunities for collaboration. It's a profession where you will serve, utilizing your skills developed and refined over a lifetime, serving not just with your head and your hands, but also with your heart. I reflected for quite some time on what I would say today and figured that I could perhaps impart some wisdom to a new class of dental students. Something about being back on campus caused me to pause and recall my dental school days here. And it also created an opportunity to totally modify my comments. What would I say today, or a note to Dear Younger Me, as I paraphrase the words of a song by the same title, which perhaps you know. If I could tell you anything that I have learned so far, then you could be one step ahead. Dear younger me, I cannot decide. Do I give some speech about how to get the most out of life? Or do I go deep and try to change the choices that you'll make? Because those choices make me. Hmm. As I stated earlier, you have chosen wisely, not only to study and learn from those willing to impart so much knowledge at the number one dental school in the nation, Go Blue! <laughs> a commitment to be honored for your dedication and enthusiasm. So, back to Dear Younger Me. I have great hopes for you. As I walked the halls of the dental school when I returned to comm commencement earlier this year and spoke with students and faculty and recently with Dean McCauley, I recognized the physical changes in the dental school and the growth within my profession. My relationship within our profession began within these walls, and I am just the first of a few speakers today to welcome you. 
However, I truly felt the words of my professional association, the Michigan Dental Association, as a senior dental student. So back to Dear Younger Me. There is a whole world out there working and implementing the skills and ethics of this noble profession. Don't wait. Take notice. So, to the class of 2022, I know firsthand from working with some of your upper class peers, either at MBA committees or through ASDA or Dentist Student Lab Day in Washington, D.C., that you have the desire to affect dentistry now and it is molding you to be dentists. At the conclusion of the ceremony, you undoubtedly will take numerous photos and post them to your Instagram or Snapchat accounts. Also take the time to snap a photo of the oath to inspire the dentist. I was struck with the similarities to this pledge and our own code of ethics of the MBA. So dear younger me, there will be days that you need to reread those words. Lastly, I would like to reflect on an experience I just had. I returned 12 days ago from South Dakota where I served with 45 other volunteers and staff on an organization called Remember on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I went out there yielding power tools of a different kind. I'm proud to say I now know how to use our circular saw. It's scary because I wanted to come home with all of these. Also, power drills and other manual instruments to build bunk beds, outhouses, and skirt trailers for the residents of Pine Ridge. But it was also an immersion into their culture with powerful speakers every night and a daytime spent talking to Lakota natives, hearing their words, seeing their struggles, and learning of their pride and hope. For you see, I was in a third world country, the second poorest county in the nation where the access to fresh and wholesome food shortens the life expectancy to the shortest of any group in our country. I knew the facts. Our daughter has been an employee of Remember for three years and a volunteer for many more. Close friends visit annually and bring back the photos of stories in the call to action. Therefore, I didn't even expect to have such an emotional experience. For you see, I knew what I was doing. I worked with my skills, utilizing my newfound knowledge and my hands. But it was my heart that had the greatest transformation. And for that experience, I am grateful and changed. So earlier, I stated that the profession of dentistry is a profession of the head, hands, and heart. So back to Dear Younger Me, Dentistry in the study of is not to be confined in any one place for action. It is for the experience and the new learner. Again, it is a noble and honored profession, and I welcome you with wide arms. Your peers are here to guide you too. The esteemed faculty and administration will provide the opportunity for your growth. Your professional organization is also eager for your participation. But if I had to impart but one bit of wisdom to employ to dear younger me, it would be everything you need to accomplish your goals is already in you. It is your responsibility to discover what that is. Class of 2022, welcome.
Jennifer Warsney.
and served at the national level as chair of the membership council of the Academy of General, General Ministry for four years. He and his wife Maureen are the proud parents of three children. In his spare time, you can find Dr. Owen on the slopes of Mount Brighton as he recently joined the National Ski Patrol. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Michael Owen.
for your entire family for their support, their love, their encouragement, and of course their checkbook. <laughs> What's in your wallet? Probably not much. <laughs> it takes a village to raise a dentist. The International College of Dentists is the largest international honorary dental society, a global organization of dentists from 130 countries. The ICD has a mission to recognize leadership, scholarship, and service in the profession of dentistry. Many of your dental school instructors, including your dean, Dr. McCauley, are ICD fellows. The International College of Dentists serves to, de to, serves to develop international dental student exchange programs with dental schools abroad, sponsors dental humanitarian initiatives in underserved nations, and serves as mentors for dental students throughout the United States. One of the things we do is put on these like coke ceremonies at various dental schools around the country as a way to welcome first-year dental students, students like you into the profession. I'd like to share some thoughts and advice, and, and advice with you of what I've learned in now the 33 years I've been a dentist. Wow, 33 years, that's amazing. How's that possible? Dentistry is an awesome profession, and I am so excited for you and your future. Dentistry is hard, demanding work, but also incredibly rewarding. Not only financially and professionally rewarding, but also personally and spiritually rewarding. One thing that I never bargained for when I was a student like you here at the university is how much richer my life was about to become because of the many relationships that I had been blessed and privileged to develop with the patients of my practice and my community of the Fenton Holly area that I call, call home because I am their dentist and as such a part of their lives. He who has much, has much responsibility. And dentistry is an awesome responsibility. As dentists, you will be entrusted by your patients for the care and health of their mouths, one of the most delicate and sensitive areas in the entire human body. You will soon find out that the University of Michigan School of Dentistry is truly one of the leaders in the best, the greatest dental school in the world. My time here at the University of Michigan was one of the greatest times of my life. While at school here, I formed many lifelong friendships that last to this day. I met my wife, Lori, while I was here at the dental school. We had, a, we had a saying when I was here at the dental school. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. <laughs> know that your time here at the University of Michigan will be some of the most challenging of your life, but try to remember as you're struggling with the learning curve of that new procedure or skill, or if you find gross anatomy really hard and overwhelming, or if you feel like your instructors are being overly demanding, remember that the rigors of this place serve to prepare you for the future. Believe me, it is really a tough world out there, and the challenges of this place serve to help prepare you for what lies ahead outside these walls. One of my favorite sayings, which I have framed on all, on all of my office, says that the path without any obstacles usually leads to nowhere. If it was easy, anybody could be a dentist. I remember one of my instructors telling us that if anybody only had front teeth, anybody could be a dentist. According to him, posterior teeth is what separated them from the boys. Well, let me tell you, after 33 years, I can honestly say that they're all still hard. One final thought, don't forget to have fun. As I mentioned, my time at the University of Michigan was some of the best time of my life. I had a blast. Get season football tickets and don't sell them. <laughs> Go to the games. Wolverine football is going to be really exciting this year, especially with Co Coach Harbaugh's options at quarterback. Go to the basketball and hockey games. Take a road trip with your buddies to the Dunham match in Chicago. Go to the Delphi parties and blow some steam. Seek out, develop, and enjoy the friendship and camaraderie of your fellow classmates. You are all in this together. It's okay to have a little fun once in a while. So in closing, 
Congratulations again. Work hard. Learn all you can. Do your best. Have fun. Godspeed and go blues. <laughs>
you have access to the top scholars in their field, and you have a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from dental pioneers. If Dos Equis made a dental school commercial, your faculty would be the most interesting people in the field. My hope for you is that, despite the long hours studying, despite the never ending difficult lessons, you celebrate all Mission School of Dentistry has to offer while drinking from the fire hose of dental education and stay thirsty, my friends. Even if you don't recognize Billy Crystal or the reference to the most interesting man in the world commercials, I hope you embrace their spirit. Even if you forget my words today, their inspiration and comedic relief is only a YouTube search away. So in conclusion, I'm honored to welcome the class of 2022 to the School of Dentistry, welcome you to the beginning of your exciting clinical education, take today to celebrate with your classmates, your friends, and your family, because with four years of hard work and a thirst for knowledge, your next celebration during graduation will feel like an overnight success. So go Blue. Thank you very much. 